Welcome to the first Eurovision this week of 2021. This is your update of the 9th of February. The final of the Lithuanian selection for the Eurovision Song Contest took place on Saturday. Like last year, the group won the competition. They will represent Lithuania with the song Discotech. Extremely happy, I think, and I felt deja vu. Dancing alone at home, yes, yes of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, most likely. No matter where you live, no matter what you do, you can achieve whatever you want. And on top of that, I'll take the opportunity to thank everyone uh, for uh, believing in us, supporting us and allowing us to continue our great journey. We will not disappoint you. 26-year-old Jendrik Sikwat from Hamburg will represent Germany this year. He was selected to represent his country by two independent juries in a multi-stage selection process. His song has not yet been released, but you can get to know him a bit better with his introduction video. For example, his spirit animal is a seagull and he loves to play the ukulele. Und Fakt Nummer 5, ich schreibe meine eigenen Lieder und die meisten auf der Ukulele. Auch das Lied für den ESC ist von mir auf der Ukulele geschrieben worden. Die 4000 Strasssteinchen habe ich übrigens jeden einzelnen selber drauf geklebt. Jeden einzelnen. Das mache ich nicht nochmal. Sad news from Hungary. Lead singer of AWS, Ösh Siklosi, has died. AWS represented Hungary in 2018 with the song Vizsliat Nyad. Ukrainian broadcaster UAPBC announced that Goe will perform Shum in Rotterdam. The song was selected out of three options by a professional jury which included Eurovision 2016 winner Jamala. The organizers of the Eurovision Song Contest will continue the preparations for the contest with determined yet realistic plans for May. It was announced that Scenario A, a Eurovision Song Contest taking place like usual, would not be possible in May. The Eurovision Song Contest will definitely make its welcome return this May, despite the pandemic. But with the situation being what it is, it's regrettable that we cannot hold the event in the way we're used to. For us, of course, it's, it's all about security, health and safety for all participants, from the crew to the artists. The organizers will now focus their efforts on Scenario B, which is a socially distant event with artists performing in Rotterdam while realistically keeping downscaling options on the table for the weeks to come. We hope that we will all be able to meet in Rotterdam in May and we will all do all we can in the coming weeks to achieve this. But with the situation ever-changing, we're taking time now to ensure that we can host the song contest in the best and safest possible way. That is all for this week, but make sure to keep up with the latest news on Eurovision.tv. Many big releases are expected in the near future and on Thursday we celebrate 100 days until the final of Eurovision. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to enable the notifications.